Get up for your house, everybody. Get up for your house. <laughs> LA, what's up, baby? What's up? What's up? Let's make some noise. We're happy we're here, right? Let's make some noise. Nice. Right, gonna be out here. Oh, shit. Nice wall. Oh, my God. I know the man that built this wall. You can't talk about walls now without getting Trump involved, man. I tried asking a Mexican, uh, hey, can you build my wall? Which one? You guys are looking at me like, God damn, is this Indian Mexican or? <laughs> or is he racist? I'm so confused. I like being out here though, man. I, just to let you all know I am Mexican. <laughs> so get all that Indian stuff out of your head right now, man. <laughs> I saw you bobbing your head when I came in here. Why was that? I don't understand. <laughs> Mexicans and Indians, we're kind of the same though, right? Mexicans, when we say hi, what's up, dog? Indians, oh my God, how are you? Good to you, A lot of people think I'm Indian because of my hair. I understand that. Look at my hair. <laughs> it looks like an Indian Lego piece on my head right now. <laughs> I used to work at 7-Eleven, man. I actually went into the barber shop before the interview. I was just like, just give me the 7-Eleven, please. <laughs> the barber was confused. He was like, what is the 7-Eleven? I'm like, it's a seven on the side, 11 on top, man. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> the, in the interview, you should have saw me in the interview. I killed the interview because my boss, you know, he was Indian. He came, out, he came in all serious, you know. So I gave him what I, what I call the Indian look. It got me the job. This is the Indian look. It's a straight up look with no facial expression. This is what I did to get me the job done. <laughs> he took it as competition at first. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> this would do. I got the job, dude, that shit was dope. <laughs> I'm really Mexican though, man. I'm the, uh, my dad was the stereotypical Mexican, man. He was a drug dealer. <laughs> All right, all right, cool, <laughs> you know? <laughs> my, dad, my dad did a lot of cocaine, that was his problem though. He would come into my room at night on coke, just kick down the door, just <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep! <laughs> I'll be there confused like, you go to sleep, that has been three days, man. It was crazy. My dad actually got locked up for 40 years in prison, man. Right, right when, I, when I was 18, he got locked up to 40 years. I'm 23 now. I know I, know I look like I'm 50 and shit, but <laughs> I'm 23 years old, man. So when I found out, it was hard for me. But the judge, he didn't say it like that. He didn't say you're doing 40 years in prison. He knew my family wasn't good at math. Because <laughs> the way he said it, he was just there like, you're doing 485 months. And we're over there trying to do the math, like 400. Hey, that's not that bad, Dad, that's not that bad. <laughs> Even my dad was like, that's nothing, homie, what the hell? <laughs> that's like three leap years, though. <laughs> hey, tip the lawyer, man. <laughs> you guys are looking at this brush like, yeah, that's right, I'm cute. <laughs> I used to be a model in the Middle East. <laughs> Not a regular model, I was a weapon model in the Middle East. <laughs> Had me modeling grenades, hey, throw this on. Oh, I got you, dog. <laughs> brings me up to my next point. When my dad found out he got 40 years in prison, he was like, hey, man, I didn't know I was doing over 40 years, dog. I was like, that's crazy, man. And he's like, well, fuck it, I'm gonna need some naked pictures while I'm in here. I thought he was talking about me at first. <laughs> I'm here taking pictures of myself and shit, like. <laughs> My mom was taking them, like, stand right. <laughs> she was messed up, man. My dad called me back, hey, what is this? I'm like, that's for you to sell, dad. That's like three cup noodles and two bars of soap in there. If they want Mexican, give them that. If they like Indian, give them that too. I sent him one with the Indian look, just to be sure. Just. <laughs> I love it though, man. Family's dope, right? 
I like I, I like I like my life though, you know. My life's dope, you know, but at the same time, the best thing my dad gave me was my last name. My last name means cow in Spanish. I don't know if you guys know that. You know, cow in Spanish. It was messed up because every time my teacher would say my last name in class, you know, she'd just be there saying it to all the students. Like, all right, Renee Vaca, are you here? Renee Vaca. And I had all these Mexican kids in my class, and they all knew what it meant, so they all fuck with me. They'll be like, ah, Vaca! <laughs> Moo! <laughs> I had no comeback. My best comeback was this. Like, oh, yeah, well, well come get your milk, man. No one respected me except the black kids and the Indian kids. The black kids, they were like, oh shit, you got vodka? You got vodka? <laughs> the Indian kids were like, oh, vodka means cow. Cows are sacred. Come play with us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. My name is Renee Vodka.